What's up, bitches? Cat here, and today we're playing Tex Murphy's Martian Memorandum. Yeah, so I guess we're just gonna get right into it. Last night was tough. Merely getting iced always leaves me drained and jumpy. As a private investigator, I've been in tough spots, but that was nearly the end of the line. I ended up sleeping in my chair all day. Now the sun is setting, and I groggily stumble around the room, trying to regain my bearings. As I look out the window, I can see the San Francisco skyline and what's left of the atmosphere. Not so long ago, a gigawatt of nuclear missiles were launched by some frenetic third world country. Luckily for the shelters, most people survived. The ecosystem may not. Tonight, it seems the sky is extraordinarily red. Not the normal washed, ruddy hue, but a thick, malicious, deep red. Something about the color leaves me edgy and tense. It's as if someone or something is targeting me, but then maybe I'm superstitious. I've never cared much for the color of blood. Okay. So, today I woke up a little crappy, feeling a little shitty, my throat hurts a little bit, and I'm a bit bummed out from just hearing about David Bowie dying. Um, so this isn't probably going to be a very energetic stream. I'm going to try stream video. Um... I don't feel that bad, just, you know, a little, a little crappy. Um, also, this game comes with music. As you can hear, it's some really shitty beats in the background. So I'm probably not going to be putting music over it like I did with uh, Mean Streets. It just depends on how I get through this and if it really sucks without music. So... So this is mainly a point-and-click game. You just point-and-click. Um, which is completely different. So if we push look, we can look at things. A nasty fax warning text. If he doesn't pay his utility bills, his power will be shut off. Nikon FB9000, no light infrared camera. It may not be the latest model, but it's seen tons of sex and violence in its day. So let's get that. Oh, the mouse is very touchy. You pick up the camera. So yeah, the mouse is very, very slidey, very touchy, very shitty. Um, let's see what else we can look at. An old-fashioned wood and glass sliding window. The blinds are drawn. Gray government issue filing cabinet dented and scratched with many years of use. What is this button? I can't. Wall switch is covered with fingerprints. Okay, ratty moth eaten red sweater, once white shirt with large ink spot blots, and a pair of oxblood gum soiled shoes rest in the corner. Box contains a souvenir from the Asphalt Jungle State Park. The park is all that is left of Phoenix, Arizona after it took a direct hit on Doomsday. Seven millimeter seeking bullets. Okay, let's get the bullets. You pick up the ammo. You pick up the kit. I didn't even look at the kit. So it's a kit for something. Decorative piece of leather made by Texas Brother. Your comm link is a portable fax and communicator. It allows you to reach your answering service and receive messages. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll get that. Take the comm link. Is this a smart Alex? Hi, Tex. We've got a new case and you won't believe who it involved. I'll transmit the information. Marshall Alexander, Terraform Corp, 582 Market Street. Mr. Alexander wants you to come by to discuss the case. See his secretary to let you in. He'll be there all day. Okay. Alrighty, righty, righty. Various doodling on the calendar includes a pig with an extremely large nose and a duck with X's over its eyes. Letterhead reads, Tex Murphy, private investigator, divorce cases, missing persons, lost animals, I, a specialty. Remember, if I don't find them in one piece, pay only for the pieces I find. Antique table phone, it's similar to the phone used by Bogart in the Maltese Falcon. It reminds you of the way people used to communicate. There's so much stuff to click and it's such, like, pixely. Desk metal army surplus model left over from the great three-day mother of all battles with Iraq in 81. Iraq, I rock, I roll. Mal has been shoved through the slot in the door. Let's get the mail. Oh, the models, it's so bad. 
You pick up the mail, take the cash enclosed in one of the envelopes, you decide to file the letters. 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 Can't speak today. Is this a gun? Can I have it? Texas trusty gun hung up today after a good soap and water cleaning. Alright, let's 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 get the gun. Pick up the gun with care. An old Olympus FM72 fluid mount pneumatic tripod. Sweet. Silly fan used to distribute the hot, nearly unbreathable air throughout the room. Okay, well, oh, I need my hat. Your standard fedora requirement for the hardworking PI. Let's get that hat. You can't take that, but give me the hat. I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna get the hat. Damn it. Okay, well, can we leave? The door is a solitary wood with a mail slot and a chicken wire and forest frost glass window. Okay, open. There's no need if you wish to leave. Select travel. Thanks. Terraform? I don't know. This is weird. Ah! Oh. You didn't have to be a private eye, nor a PhD. To find a Terraform Corporation in San Francisco, you don't even need to see too well. Just look up. Terraform is overwhelming. It's the biggest building in the entire city by the bay or anywhere else. One step inside and you are instantly dwarfed by the 30-foot ceiling that arches overhead. The microwave motion detectors, pressure-sensitive pads, and robotic surveillance would make a Nazi nervous. All of this security must have emerged from the development of the Terraform Corp. Terra terraforming is a 50-year plan to make Mars habitable. It must have been very dangerous work at the onset. Raising a planet's temperature 100 degrees, designing an electric, electric, electing, designing and electing an efficient... Designing and electing an efficient solar shield, transmitting the lethal gases of the red planet must have warranted risk. Silence and heavy security. Security, yes, but this place makes you feel like seventh grade gym class on the first day. In the showers, going in naked and you're ill-equipped. I guess I passed their check. I sit. A thick neck guard takes me over to a turbo elevator and I head for Alexander's office. Oh, I am just not in the mood for reading today. Where am I? There I am. A uh, lady. Rhonda Foxworth, Mr. X. Alexander, exec executive, a fat of incredibly well built, gorgeous example of true art. Tex, can you like walk? Thank you. Walk over here. So weird. This game is weird. Okay, is there a talk button? May I help you? I'd like to see Mr. Alexander. Oh, let's ask you some questions first. Oh, I have to pick down here? Weird. I'm just too busy right now. Rude. Alright. May I help you? Yep. Just a moment. <laughs> we can see you now. Okay. Go in. Go, go, go in. Go in. Text. Oh, I can use the arrow keys. How do I go in? How do I... How do I go in? Text, go in. I have to click go to? Come on. Well, then. Good evening, Mr. Murphy. Okay. That popping is annoying. My daughter is missing. She may have been abducted. Is it all? Ah! Oh, no screen? Something else was stolen from me, but no one must know that it's gone. What is it? Transmit some leads for you to begin your search. Okay. What's over here? Door to the ladies' restroom. Titanium steel doors. A plaque reads Terraform Corp. Facilities located on Mars near the Therosis Bilge. Phase 3 is now complete in meeting and goal of providing a breathable atmosphere. Cool. What? The trip on a Terraform is a lot more pleasant than coming in, and it's nice to have a client that looks like he can pay. So, Alexis Alexander, the daughter of the wealthiest man in the universe, is missing. What a ransom this dish would garner. But in the information you transmitted to me, there was not... Blah. 
There was nothing to prove this was a kidnapping. Then he says something else was stolen from me and acts as if this was more important than his daughter. I tried to get more information on what it was and he clams up on the subject. I don't think he's giving me the whole story and one thing's for sure, he's desperate. At least he gave me a few places to start. Okay, let's go to Alexis's home. They say money can't buy you happiness, but it sure can scoop up on everything else. I drop into one of Alexander's residences, the one Alexis was staying at before she disappeared. The place makes the Taj Mahal look like the projects. I enter the 10-foot spire iron gate with gilded points. The house isn't even in sight yet as I roll past a forest of flowering shrubs and short trees. Security cameras are everywhere. If Alexis was kidnapped, somebody was definitely asleep at the wheel. The maid at the door has been told I would be coming and she let me in. I'm led through a hallway to a chamber of marble and glass to Alexis's room. It all resembles a mausoleum. I feel myself whispering as to not wake the dead. This is a very weird game. Is it a chunk taken out of the bed? Text, get the way. size bed with a Martian crystal headboard. The maid was not done a very good job in making the bed. Okay. It just looks like there's a chunk missing from the bed. A fish ultimate remote control room. Ro remote room control. Mural projects a holograph of the diamond head before it sank back into the ocean. That thought doesn't put you in a better mood. You can see a faint outline of a compartment in the wall. Single button is mounted to the wall. Move. You flip the switch. Nice. It's drinks. Various woman's cosmetics. Okay. And what is over now? And close. Various articles of lingerie from Victoria's Secret Business Suits, 24 inch spike collar, leash, handcuffs, and active sportswear. Um, when no, uh, the closet is filled with various oh, I have no clothes. Can I get them? Can I just be a perv and get them? Shame on you. Do us a favor and just come out of the closet. All right, all right, all right. What is this? An ancient piece of Martian sculpture made of Martian alloys. It seems to resemble a horse with a pinhead. Yeah, I guess so. All right, there's something on the floor. A small piece of note paper with initials TMS written on it. Grab the paper. Uh anything over here okay is that it that looks like it you go to here you can't go there you can't go there how do I get out I don't like the movement system in this nothing is exactly clear I don't like not being able to use use my speeder right, well, I guess I have to travel Jockes Sparrow Jacques Sparrow. I don't know. I don't know how to say that. I'm tired. The address of Jack Sparrow is a three-story white stucco and glass building designed after the war to be the advent guard of modern architecture. They failed. It looks too square and the windows need washing. Inside, it's just as dank and sticky as outside. I find a directory on the wall. Jack Sparrow's office is on the third floor. I rise up the elevator, which smells similar to a cat marking its territory. At the end of the hallway, I see lettering. Jack Sparrow on the pebble glass. I knock. No answer. I try the knob, but it's locked. I reach inside my pocket and pop out a tool that makes opening doors a snap. I close the door behind me and look around. The place looks very familiar. An old roll top desk, swivel chair, and a frayed pillow, and a couple of file cabinets. The door might as well have my name on it. The file cabinet was locked, but it was very easy to pop open. Inside some cheap rye, a phone directory, and a manila envelope, there are a number of 8 by I'm lost in thought when I hear the doorknob begin to turn. I toss the folder back into the file and spin around. The door opens and walks in a guy who looks like Errol Flynn in The Gay Adventures of Captain Blood. His face is stained and he's slim. When he sees me, his mouth opens out, drops the worst French accent I've ever heard. Mon Dieu, what the hell are you doing here? Okay, so yeah, I missed a bit of that because it was moving by itself, it was progressing by itself and wouldn't let me, it wouldn't wait for me to click, so sorry if I missed some of that. 
Um, it looks pretty quiet here today. Perhaps you could answer some questions. You've got a nice studio. How much for a sitting? This is certainly the right business for a sleazy low life like you. But yeah, let's just be nice and do pro uh, number one. I get that to an exclusive crowd. <laughs> right, pander to the crowd. Well, that's not really why I came here. Yep, let's just be nice. I've got no time to waste with you. Mmm. No, we've got to talk to you. Mon Dieu, what the oh my God. are you doing here? A pandering crowd? Big dog, you dare to insult me? Oh, I just want him to answer my questions. Take, Take off, off that foot. If you need help, call the Salvation Army. No, you're going to talk to me. Mon Dieu. And what business are you in? You're a private investigator. You are not oh, come on. Fake. Look, we both work for a living. You help me, maybe I help you sometime. Oh, if come you need on. Help, call the Salvation Army. Just talk to me, you poof. Mon Dieu. Listen, dude, if your brains cooperate, I might not have to get tough. I have friends who are very tough monkeys. I feel like we're getting off to a bad start here. Big dog, you How is that an insult? Me? Take your clever repartee and slide out the door. I don't have patience for this one. No! <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? This is ridiculous. You're just a sleazy little greaseball who takes pictures. I do art. You know, classical stuff. I took the liberty of looking through your files. I don't think Martian babes in bondage will ever rank with Mozart or Bach. Okay, Spunky, get out or I call the cops. Go ahead, if some of those girls look underage and if the cops show up, I'll have to show them what you've got in your private files. Relax! Okay! Finally! Oh, it'd be nice if he would talk. <laughs> what does anybody know about Alexander? He's the richest man in the world, and that's about it. He's not the one anyone ever gets any information on. Terraforming Corp. That's Marshall Alexander's company, what I wouldn't do to own a piece of the action. Rockwell Bach. Should I be writing stuff down? I know nothing about that. You! I'm a small businessman trying to make a living and find work, hire models, photo shoots, and no big deal. Okay, TMS, the only commercial way to get to Mars. Mac Malden. I know nothing about that. Alexis Alexander. I met Alexis when she roomed with Chandel. Chandel? She's got a pretty face and a gorgeous body. There were a couple of jobs I found that fit her perfectly. Ooh. Was it your penis? Thanks, Murphy. I don't care what anybody says. I still don't like you. Okay, but that's all I... That's all? I, that's all? Okay, let's go to Mac Malden. I don't know. This game is weird. I walk into the old dilapidated police station across the reception room to a doubly lidded inner corridor and pass down the corridor to a frosted glass door and its far end. I open the frosted glass door and walk into an office where a big olive-skinned man with a tired oval face under a mat of thin hair dotted with dandruff sits behind an immense desk which bales of paper are heaped. Max... A true San Francisco flatfoot, his biggest claim to fame is that an old relative of his used to be on a police show about San Francisco. Somebody said Matt looks a lot like him. Okay, sorry I'm having such a hard time reading. Again, my throat feels funny, I'm feeling funny, and this yellow text on this variant background, I don't know, it's just popping weird, and the screen is, is kind of small. It wasn't full screen, but then I wouldn't be able to, like, see exploit, and I wouldn't be able to, you know, do everything. So, <laughs> I'm just rambling today. So, yeah, it's small, it's hard to read. What brings you down here, Murphy? Looking for a client? Hmm. Nope, looking for that free lunch you owe me. I'm trying to cut back. <laughs> That's true. A guy like you doesn't need to buy lunch. You could live a year on what you spilled on your tie. A diet, you'd lose all that charm and indefinable style you've cultivated through the... Let's just do the first one. Always ready with a gag. Well, I've gagged enough today. Look at his face. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can we, can we try again? Nope, somebody's got to work while others drink coffee and eat donuts all day. How else would things get done? You know, Tex, if you weren't such a dick, maybe you'd get farther in your career. Up your shameless. Huh. Way myself, the clients pay me to make your life easier. I don't know what's foolish of me to get angry at an inanimate object you make me and mad anyway. You're lazy, you've become a landmark, you're sitting- Why is Tex being such a dick? I know I'm going soft in the head from talking to you, Murphy. What do you want? What? Ah. <laughs> Any validation on a meal ticket? I thought you and I could put our heads together on a new case. Always ready with a gag. Well, I've gagged enough today. Really? Come on, you cockface. Need validation on a meal ticket. 
Damn it, we're too busy. Fucking shit. I've noticed some tension here. What's going on? Come on, we're always helping each other in the past. Let's be mean some more. If I don't get evidence on the Andretti case, I'll be out of a job. Sounds like we're both in serious problems. I'll keep my ear out for any information. Number two? If you want my help, give me something on Andretti. All right, all right. I think we got somewhere. Let's go to Rockwell Bach. Rockwell Bach. Rockwell Bach. Is this the same house as Alexander? Alexis's? Is? The work address for Rockwell Box looks more like a home. It is a large, solid house with lavender brick walls and white stone trim. I walk in and am greeted by a young, pretty face with a nice smile. She asks if I have an appointment. I tell her why I'm here, and she leads me into Box office. It's obvious why Marshall Alexander hired this guy to be a part of his corporate brain trust. This is the same picture. Oh, my God. Marshall. A brilliant man, perhaps, with even more brain power than myself. He has built a vast empire on his own with virtually flawless business decisions. His health, however, has deteriorated over the last several months. He's becoming increasingly paranoid and has added even more security people to his staff. The disappearance of his daughter has contributed significantly to his mental and physical deterioration. Degeneration. Terraform Court. Alexis has always been indifferent towards her father's company in the past, but Marshall has confided to me that the majority interest of Terraform would go to his daughter when he dies. If anything happened to Alexis, control of the business would go to Marshall's wife, Nora Desmond Alexander. For that reason alone, it's the most utmost importance that Alexis has found. I think with the right counsel, Terraform would be much better off with Alexis. Okay, I'm going to take a couple notes. Is my pen even here? I don't even have a pen here. Mather fagger. Fick. Okay, then I'll make a sticky note and I will make a note on my computer tron. Boop 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 boop. Okay, so so I've got me a suspect. So Rockwell Bach. As a corporate attorney, I enjoy a special relationship with Mr. Alexander. I consider both Alexis and Marshall to be good friends. He rarely makes any business decisions without me. No one ever gets to know Marshall Alexander very well. A man who climbed to the top of the business world makes many enemies. Unfortunately, Marshall Alexander is one of those men. Okay, Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow is a professional photographer who used Alexis as a model in recent months. I must say, I didn't approve of some of his work. Alexis is beautiful, but she didn't develop any marketable skills. She did the best she could with what she had. Nor Desmond Alexander. Nora was a successful movie actress at one time. When she married Marshall 15 years ago, she gave up her career. I have had the feeling she always resented giving up her career. Okay, what's TMS? Don't know anything about TMS. Mac Malden. Ooh, that face! Police Lieutenant Mac Malden was the officer who investigated Alexis' disappearance. He came up with nothing on the kidnapping theory and no leads to where Alexis is. Alexis Dabstander! Alexis is a headstrong and beautiful girl. Her past hasn't been totally innocent. When she was younger, I spent a lot of time straightening out her life. I'm sure Mr. Alexander told you his daughter was kidnapped. I'm not so sure. Just before her disappearance, she started to fall back into old habits. She became very resentful towards her father and his company. If she ran away, I don't really know where she would go. Angelo Andretti. Wait, wasn't that a name I just needed? Oh yeah, Andretti. I need I need to uh, get something on Andretti for Mac Malden. Angelo Andretti. He was the congressman that was murdered. That's all I know, I'm afraid. Okay, let me go back to my notepad. Okay, so Tex Murphy, what about me? I hope you're a good PI you have to be to solve this case. Look at his fucking face. Let's just, just, just try what brings what you down brings here, Murphy. What brings you down here, Murphy? Looking for a client? Oh my god, do I have to go through this every time? Run along, Murphy, and don't let the door hit you on the way out. Oh my god, this is annoying. I've been just wandering around trying to find, you know, things I missed maybe, things to do. Okay, so we're in the washroom. Alright, there's a toilet. Lace and bathroom panache. A cold fusion powered microwave hand driver dryer. Ugh. We're still waiting for it to produce heat. Mega standard water meister toilet. You stare at the porcelain bowl next to the toilet. It's smaller and it has a nozzle which shoots water upward. You finally decide that this is a strange place for a drinking fountain. Like on the sink. Open. At least you're thorough. You're a clever idea, but out of your scope and ability to change your remarkable skills and a blah, 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 blah. No clues in here. No clues in here. You move the towel slightly. Oh. What fell out? One incredibly expensive diamond earring lies on the floor. Get that shit. Okay, I don't think there's much else to do here, so let's go back up here and see if she has anything to say. May I help you? May I help you? Oh, thanks! 
Thanks. I thought it was lost. How about dinner? What? It's a five-star restaurant at the Plaza Hotel. Well, I usually get a 20 finest fee, but lost or stolen articles, but I'll only charge 10%. Yeah, because then maybe you'll answer me some questions. Oh, I thought she was going to say something. Okay, it's a date. Okay. I need to go see her at some point. It's tough curtains left of sofa made from recycled Chrysler Cardoba. Let's open it. You find three pennies and a pretzel. Secretary eyes you suspiciously as you clumsily attempt to rearrange the office furniture. Okay, what is this? An oversized tacky logo of Terraform Corp. It's mounted to the wall. A piece of art from the sculptor Sabine Tamey. It protrudes from the floor at unsightly angles. Uglier works of art have been sold for more, but not in recent history. Okay, so... Wait, can't I use my... my phone? What's up? Oh. Uh... Yeah, her. I'll transmit the information. Okay. Norman Desmond, Alexander Marshall's second wife. She has a house in Beverly Hills. Benedict Canyon Drive. Cool. Um, what's TMS? I'll transmit, I'll the, transmit information. the information. Good job. TMS is the acronym for the Trans Mars Shuttle. The office is in the old ferry building down on the pier. If you're looking for a way to Mars, you'll have to wait while the next one leaves in four weeks. Okay. I'll transmit transmit the the oh, I already got his address. I don't need his address. Angelo Andretti. I'll transmit the information. Here's a summary of the examiner's articles on Andretti's death. Congressman Andro Angelo S. Andretti was murdered in his San Metro home last night. Police believe Andretti was killed because of his relentless pursuit of underworld crime lords. Okay. Okay. See you later. Bye! Okay, so... Let's go talk to Nora. The same picture every time. Oh my god. Nor Desmond's house is not so much. It is smaller than the palace of Versatile and probably has fewer windows than the New York Trade Center. I walk into the side entrance and press a bell somewhere. A set of chimes made a deep, mellow sound. A man in a striped vest and gilt buttons opens the door. I give him my credentials and tell him why I'm here. He leaves for a minute and then returns. Mr. Murphy, if you will come this way, please. We go down a hall. It is a very quiet hall. We turn a corner and there is more hall. The butler reaches a door and knocks. The door opens and through there stands Miss Nora Desmond. I remember gazing at her in films when I was a little tyke. But seeing her now is something of a shock. She has been worked over more than a few times with a plastic surgeon's scalpel. But her face still looks old enough to be her own mother. Ugh. She is having a difficult time getting her eyes to focus, and by the fragrance, it's obvious she was slushed. I think to myself that drunks often let their guard down. If I am careful with her, she just might be loose-lipped enough to tell me something useful. You're not going to talk? All right. Tell me about Marshall Alexander. He treats me like dirt. I get no respect. I used to be somebody. I was an actress and a singer. Now what am I? Nothing. He doesn't give me the time of day. He and that slut daughter of his, well, he isn't going to last forever, and if his daughter is still missing, I'll get the whole estate. Alright, bitter bitch. Terraform Corp. It's my husband's company now, but soon it will be mine. Rockwell Bach. You slimy ambulance chaser, if you ask me. Jack Sparrow. I know nothing about that. Nor does my Alexander. I was big, big, big. I gave it all to him. That in great... I was beauty beyond compare, a movie star. Now what am I? Well, someone else wants me. Lowell Pes per Percival. I'm sorry, I was reading that. Lowell Percival is interested in me, and he may just get what he wants. Why can't I read today? Jesus, fuck. TMS. I don't know. Mac Malden. Don't know. Lowell, per Lowell Percival. He's a powerful man, and someday he'll be bigger than my husband. A man like that knows what he wants and takes it. He wants me, I'll tell you that. Alexis? She's a no good tramp! Well, I say good riddance. No sweat off my nose. I say she doesn't deserve a cent of his money. I have been with him all these years, giving him my love and respect. She treats him like a cockroach. If he dies, she's going to get rich. That isn't fair. She's only my stepdaughter anyway. God, she's such a bird. Tell me something about Angelo or about me. You're a handsome devil. Maybe you and I could make some music together. You nasty hoe. Oh. Okay, so we what do we what do we do now? Flip up the corner of the bed. Ah, oh, I missed it. 
key missing things. A small file card box. Open the file box. The box opens with a click. Look in the box. A small notation is made on a napkin from Wiener World. It says, Chancel Vargas apartment. Is this a hint or can it be a mystery, ladies? Scrolling made at the restaurant that serves the biggest weenies in San Francisco. I can't take the note? Fine. Okay, he's got new stuff now. Chancel used to be one of the top models on the West Coast. Unfortunately, she's become a heavy user of Rush. That drug has really ruined her career. I hardly use her anymore. Okay. Have we asked him about the rest of these people? What about her? Nothing about that. Roll a film. Okay, I gotta roll a film. I have a camera and a camera stand at my office. So, film, camera, need a lens, where's the lens? Oh, it's been on that fucking table the whole time and clicking all over and squinting and looking and god I'm stupid. Okay, use the camera, you snap the camera and lens into place. Use the film. It won't do any good. So look. No limbus ever does film from a tripod. Okay. I don't know what to do. Okay. I can't, why can't I use the arrows? Well, that's a bit poops. All oh, these windows. Is there anything in these windows? Oh! Although it would make a nice picture, you might find something interesting in your full film. Okay. Let's see what else is going on. I don't know what those numbers on the side mean. Take a picture of a lady. It isn't interesting enough to waste on film. What's this man doing? He's just reading. This is weird. Okay, two people making out. That's great. What, what are we doing? This was the only interesting thing. Okay. Yes, that's all there was to do there. And now I've got pictures on the ground. Grab the photos. Can I look at the photos? I'm gonna look at the photos. Oh, I can go to I can go to her house now. Okay. Chantel Vargas. Address is in the Hitchcock Building, a huge urban tower near my office downtown. These towers are self-sufficient living spaces that allow the residents of the buildings to avoid the decay and violence of the inner cities. I ring the bell, and a tired but striking woman with deep, hungry eyes and long, unbrushed brunette hair answers the door. She's young, but there are signs of hard and fast living. Something rings familiar in those features. When it smacks me, she's the mysterious woman I've seen dancing through the camera lens of my office window. I feel the rush to my face. Jeez, I hope she doesn't recognize me. Taxi creep. Yeah. Yeah, my name's Murphy. I'm a private investigator. I was wondering if I can ask you a few questions. Tex Murphy, don't you have an office across from my apartment window? <gasps> I don't know what you're talking about. Surely you don't think I would use that camera in my office. Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Let's be cool about it. Well, what do you think of the view? Oh, I really don't have a lot of time to stare out the window. I'm a businessman trying to make some money. Is window peeping part of your job? You beach. I think you've got me confused with someone else. Let's just try to be cool. I don't know those beady eyes anywhere. Get lost or I'll call the cop. Oh, Jade, that's fuck. Yeah? So, okay, why don't we play the scumbag this time? Well, what do you think of the view? She's fishing for compliments. How big a fool do you think I am? Uh, I don't know. So, a little nervous? Get out or I'll let everybody know. Oh, come on. I don't like this mechanic of guessing people's... Yeah? Conversations. I don't know what you're talking about. You're the pervert with that telescope. The camera doesn't even have a lens in it? Oh, how come on. Who do you think I am? Wait, I've got pictures of her. Okay. Wait. 
go, a little nervous. Get mm -hmm. out and let everybody know. Oh my god, this game does not work very well, does it? Marshall! Alexis's father is a very rich and powerful man, but it did not impress her. Alexis did not want his help, and she couldn't shake him completely. In the last little while, Alexis started getting very resentful towards her father. Jack Sparrow. You'd like him, Murphy. He's a paunchy little man with a camera who likes to see women in compromising positions. He's a lot like you. Nor Desmond. Alexis really hated that woman. They'd go at each other all the time. Chan Vargas. Look, I'm a damn good model, but lately I've been partying too much. It's kind of a strung, strung out and starting to show. Alexis Alexander. Alexis is a good kid. She's prettier than me, but I'm easier for the right guy. Not you. I've got no idea where she's gone, but it was a probably with the, all that tall, dumb, greasy actor Rick Logan. If you see her, tell her I'm sorry. Alright, Rick Logan. I don't know anything about the guy other than he worked in the movie business. She's met him several weeks before she moved out of my apartment. By then, we weren't really speaking civilly to each other. I guess it was my fault. Alright, so now we can get the fuck out. I need to ask my secretary about Rick Logan. I've checked our resources. There's no information on that subject. What do I do about Rick Logan? See you later. See you later. Okay, well, I've been recording for about an hour now. Shit. I don't know how long this is going to be. I kind of just got sucked into it a little bit. But I'm going to leave this episode here. It's... It's kind of shitty. I'm not I'm not too happy about this game because, you know, Tesla Effect was fucking amazing and then Mean Streets was pretty damn cool and this one's just kind of... So, okay, we have a save. Okay, so thanks for watching everybody and next week we'll hopefully get a little farther. I don't know, this game is very slow and weird. So, I'll catch you later. Okay.